Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your April 2023 mid-month general reading. So we're looking at the last half of April and this reading is for the air sign of Aquarius. I'm glad you're here. I hope everyone's doing all right as we continue to ease on into the season of spring. Thanks for taking the time to watch these videos, liking, sharing, subscribing, all that all of you do in support of my channel. Thank you so much. So Aquarius, this is for you for the last half of April 2023. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in April, sorry, if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Aquarius, uh, if you're also watching, cross-watching for an Aquarian, it is also relevant. Uh, <clears throat> of course, general readings always resonate a little differently for everyone, which is why we always suggest if you know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, watch, uh, watch them all because it can bring an additional insight, additional perspective in helping you kind of work through whatever is going on in your life right now. If you find that something does resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at it, uh, perhaps reach out for a personal reading or information about my reading services for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. You can also get that contact info by clicking the description link or clicking the title of this video. I can almost always respond the same day with more information. I do offer quite a lot of uh, choices for reading services in all areas of life. And scheduling is done in a pretty timely fashion too. I can usually schedule people <coughs> within one to two weeks. So if you're interested, email me. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what the last half of April looks like for you. I am using <coughs> the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Radiant Rider Weight. We begin with the lovers, a relationship at a crossroads, a choice. The choice might be about the relationship itself. Do we continue together? Do we not? What direction do we go in? Possibly a third party situation where you need to choose between two people. Or it might be that the decision or choice that needs to be made is in another area of life, but it may impact or affect a primary relationship in a pretty significant way. With that, we have the Ten of Swords, surrendering to a painful ending or surrendering to an ending that may be kind of challenging. Swords is governed by the element of air, which governs our mind, our intellect, our intellectual landscape. So swords can be about truth, intellectual pursuits, higher education, learning knowledge, but it's also about our belief systems and our ideologies and our perceptions because that affects how we see the world and relate to everything outside of ourselves. So the Ten of Swords can often represent coming to a conclusion, maybe a difficult or painful one, uh, that something is not what we want it to be. It's not going to be what we want it to be, no matter how hard we try. Uh, because Tens also represent cycle conclusions or a cycle coming full circle. So this is recognizing that something it just isn't going to work. It, it's it's not what you want it to be. It's not what you thought maybe it was going to be in the beginning. And again, for some of you, it may be about a relationship itself, you know, realizing that this relationship is not, you know, going to be the kind of relationship that you wanted it to be. What do you do about that? Do you accept that and move on together? Or do you, do you break apart? And <clears throat> again, uh, this could be in another area of life. It could be in work, career, finance, anything really. Uh, but there's a decision that needs to be made because uh, something isn't working out and what you do about it may significantly impact that primary relationship. Next, we have the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Fire, action, moving forward, uh, communication, travel, fast movement, Cupid's arrows sometimes. with the moon even in spite of the fact that everything may not be entirely clear there may be some deep-seated fears kind of rolling around in there maybe gaining some spiritual knowledge at the same time next we have death final endings and rebirth transformation significant change which makes sense with that ten of swords and the hermit a wise person who has learned a lot from their life experiences 
It's using wisdom and guidance and experience to move on. It's lessons learned and wisdom from those lessons. I actually like, I mean, I won't lie to you, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a mixed bag in terms of it. It, it. it looks like whatever is coming to an end or the realization that something isn't working out may be difficult, challenging, painful. I mean, it's a general reading, so the intensity of that's going to vary. Also, what it is, is it about some of you, it may be about the relationship itself. Some of you, it may be something didn't work out in another area of life, and it's difficult because it impacts your relationship. But either way, I kind of like how it transitions because death and the hermit, it, you know, the eight of wands, the moon, death and the hermit, Aquarius, this is like, right, I'm not gonna sit and wallow in it. I'm gonna move on even though I may not know in everything entirely about the path in front of me. This is change, this is rebirth, and this is taking your lessons here with the Hermit. You've learned a lot moving on. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Five of Coins, which if this is anything to do with money, career, work, finance, or money, uh, this would be, you know, there's a lack, there's insufficiency. It's kind of our beggar card, um, not having enough, being out of work, being out of money, um, having to move, uh, not sure where you're going to go, or on an emotional level, it can represent, you know, feeling abandoned, shut out, rejected, not good enough, or simply feeling like you just, you have to beg for everything you need or everything you want, whether it's financially, materially, or emotionally, or a combination of all of those things. For those of you for whom this may not resonate as a relationship reading, it looks like finances will, you know, your, 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 your financial or material stability is or has taken a hit and that affects your primary relationship too. But again, I really like with this eight of wands that you're moving forward. This is like, okay, I'm not going to sit in this. I'm going to take the lessons I've learned and I'm going to move on. So let's clarify a little bit. Five of coins. I mean, with death and the hermit, um, you're, you've definitely learned some lessons and whatever you look, can look back on and go, okay, I should have done that differently. I should have done that differently. I should have not done that at all. Um, you won't. Again, this is like definitely lessons learned and moving on. Let's clarify that overall energy of five of coins. The Devil and the Three of Wands. Okay, the Three of Wands is somebody who's who's laid the groundwork. They've put they've they've done the work to lay a good foundation for something. They feel good about it, and now they're waiting for their ships to come in, right? Feeling positive, hopeful, and optimistic about the future. But this is clarifying that Five of Coins. So something did not work out. You you put the work into something. Um, the devil and maybe you kept doing it over and over and over again beyond when you knew you should have stopped right because the devil is a cycle that becomes unhealthy whether it starts out as unhealthy or not usually it doesn't but it's something that becomes more it becomes obsessive it becomes overly focused and too much energy in something that's why the devil often shows up for issues like addiction obsession toxic relationships you keep doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results each time and there's something tempting about it though it keeps pulling you in so it it, it, it looks like you know you I, I feel like you put a lot of effort into something maybe right from the get-go believing wholeheartedly that it was going to be or it was going to develop into a certain way into a certain thing and in spite of the fact that it you you just kept it feels like you just kept pouring yourself into something or someone or a job or a relationship something could be either or here and even though you weren't really seeing the long-term payoffs, you just kept telling yourself, or there just was something, you know, oh, but if I just stay, if I just keep working harder, if I just keep giving more. Um, but here I think you're, you're just coming to the conclusion, okay, it's time to stop, right? It doesn't feel good, but it's time to stop. Let's clarify the lovers. justice and the high priestess. This is knowing what the right thing is to do. 
because justice is doing the right thing. Honor, transparency, morals, ethical foundations, things being fair, equitable, and even the high priestess is your intuition, connection with the divine. Some people call it higher self, some people call it gun instinct, but this is a sense of knowing. It's, it's in the pit of your stomach. You just know, you know what the right thing is to do. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. And this is also about seeing the truth. Because that's <clears throat> that's what the Ten of Swords is too. It's what the Ace of Swords is too. too. Perhaps that'll come out. Ten of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Yeah, this is taking a look at what you have invested in something, taking stock, taking inventory, and asking yourself, does the end justify the means? Does all the work I've put into doing this thing, growing this thing, has it paid off? What do I have to show for it? Does it justify continuing? And the Six of Wands is victory, triumph, and success after a challenge, after a battle. But this is all clarifying this surrendering to a painful ending. I, again, I feel like you, you put a lot of effort into whatever this says, whether it was a relationship, whether it was a job, work, project, something. And you're finally, and, and it just, you just never got back equ the equivalent of what you were giving. And so you're coming to the conclusion now, and you know, instinctively, intuitively, you know, it's time to pull out. There, there's no chance of, of success here. There's no chance of making it better or making it into what you, you wanted it to be. And it doesn't look like you spend a lot of time, you know, sitting and wallowing in it, because we have this Eight of Wands moving forward. Eight of Wands... And even though it looks difficult, this early transition, I like the flow of it. I like the way that it transitions. <clears throat> the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, that is you. The Three of Swords and the Five of Wands. Fightings, argument, emotional pain, disappointment, heartache. This is what you're, and you are clear thinking. You are like, okay, that's it. I'm leaving this behind. I'm leaving it behind. I'm not going to sit and wallow in it. I'm, I'm not going to fight about it anymore because, you know, the Five of Wands, it never goes anywhere. It just goes around and around and around and around. And you're, 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 you're moving away from it. Clarify the Moon. Even though you may not know exactly what's in front of you, you just know I'm done. That's it. I have to move on. The Hermit, which we have here as well. So we have the Hermit twice. This is lots of wisdom gained, lots of lessons learned here. The Knight of Cups. Interesting. The Knight of Love. The Knight of Emotional Offerings. Yeah, I, I feel like what you've learned, some of you, there may be new love coming in or, or something that you're aware of. It may be that you have an example now that's far different than what you have experienced. And again, this is learning how... I mean, the Hermit with the Knight of Cups, you know, the Knight of Cups just, Knights are impulsive and spontaneous, right? They, they tend to be very focused, sometimes even very, you know, obsessive, single-minded. They're all about the achieving that quest, that goal. And the Knight of Cups of water, of emotion, he just goes charging forth, wearing his heart on his sleeve, you know, uh, uh, there's there's no misunderstanding with the Knight of Cups. He just, he just bears it all, right? And there's something quite delightful in that. But at the same time, I think you've learned some lessons on how to temper that or how to do it in a bit of a wiser way. Maybe not all at once, right from the very beginning. Let's clarify death. So there's transformation here. Endings, moving on, transformation. And you're on board with it, and I like that. The Seven of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. 
is clarifying death. This is holding on, standing up, defending, protecting, not giving up. But, but that's what's ending. And I think it's time to here. Because I think you did this enough. Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing and Orchestration. Your, uh, divine Timing and Orchestration, they're allowing this to happen. And you're also recognizing this that it's time, that it's not meant for you. It's time for you to move on. <clears throat> the Hermit. The Six of Swords, healing, leaving the worst behind you, moving to calmer shores. You're not quite there yet, but you're, it's in sight. You're headed in the right direction. The Page of Cups, a positive message, a loving message, perhaps a little flirtation, Ace of Cups. Hmm. Let's pull one more. The Tower. It, it, it may be here again. I kind of got a ping on this a minute ago. It may be that some of you have something new in front of you and a new offer, a new opportunity, whether it's job, work, and career, or another relationship, because again, it could be either or here. And what is being offered to you looks quite beautiful and quite healthy and good for you and it may be that it's that that is and it and it's the example the opposite example of what you have had what you thought you were going to have and it may actually have been the the thing you needed to leave this other unhealthy thing that you'd been pouring yourself into because you're like right that's really what i want and it's another sign here divine timing and orchestration, that it is time to move on. And again, I'm getting a sense of lessons learned about not jumping in full guns right from the very beginning. So let's wrap this up with any advice, guidance, feedback, final messages from Spirit for Aquarius for the last half of April. There's that Ace of Swords, Truth, Enlightenment, the Sword of Truth, cutting through everything, even the emotions, to show you what is real, what is reality, which allows us to make choices and decisions if we don't like the reality, to make healthier choices to make it what we want. Strength, facing your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, wrestling with your part of it as well. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, that long-term security and stability is on the way. It's coming in. And I, I feel, again, like for some of you, it's, it's already there or you can see it. There's some other new opportunity coming in here. But this is about having the strength, strength, courage, wisdom, and humility to take all of your lessons, looking at yourself, what you've learned, and how you can improve moving forward. That's the key to gaining something that's truly solid, stable, and long-lasting. Okay, Aquarius, those are your messages for the last half of April. I hope you found them useful, gave you something to think about. Again, if this resonates with you, or if the style resonates with you, if you'd like to take a deeper look at something, perhaps reach out for a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, or information about that please feel free to email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com i would be delighted to hear from you i will see you all in a couple of weeks for the may journal readings stay safe and well hope to see you back here again soon bye bye